वी नॉर्मली यूज पेंट क्ले स्टेंसिल्स एम डी एफ बोर्ड्स और एटलीस्ट कार्ड बोर्ड टू मेक आर आर्ट वर्क बट टूडे आई थॉट आई वुड बी अ लिल मोर इनोवेटिव एंड ट्राई टू डू समथिंग न्यू वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल मैथ्स वर्ल्ड ऑफ पैशन नाव आई एम यूजिंग एंड यू नो एम्ब्रॉयडरी हुक एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर ब्लैक कलर जूट रोप टू क्रिएट अ पैटर्न ऑन दिस एम्ब्रॉयडरी हुक हेयर Now the hook here, which is there, that joins the rod here, uh, that itself will be used to hang this on the wall. Now color is totally your choice. I'm using black here, but you can use any any color of your choice. And uh, of course, you can also use wool if you do not have a jute rope like the one that I have here. And these are some of the beads basically used to make jewelry. but uh, you know i have not used this for a long time now and uh, you know i bought this in bangalore in one of the um, you know craft exhibition that was sponsored by itsy bitsy a couple of years back so i bought it that time so i'll use a couple of beads here to just uh, decorate this particular wall hanging that i'm doing i'm using this burlap cloth which i have cut a little extra to add frills as i'm attaching with the help of glue gun around this uh, embroidery hook i love this to dry completely and uh, now i'm using this grapes stem you know after removing all the grapes uh, whatever is left you will have to allow it to dry completely and then you can use this as a craft item as an element here which would uh, you know act as a beautiful 3d it gives a very nice 3d effect to this whole craft that i'm doing and uh, i'm using this pistachio shells here which i'm uh, making it like a bud and a flower so this is how you do it okay now let me quickly explain first add three pistachio shells which are smaller in size and uh, create like a bud and then with the gaps that are remaining attach three more which are a little slightly bigger in size from behind of it i am removing a few threads from this burlap cloth just to create a different pattern on this art piece here and now you can use the same thread to attach these uh, you know these uh, beads that i had kept aside you can attach it from behind of this okay now this is how it looks and now let's quickly stick these pistachio flowers on the grape stem here now since it was a no color challenge that i had taken up i have i'm not coloring the pistachio shells here but yes you can color them and make it very colorful as well and this is how it looks without any color but honestly i'm loving this contemporary art piece that i've created for my own home isn't it beautiful do comment and let me know time to do this second craft item i'm using the same burlap cloth here in fact i'm making a very beautiful macrame basket here of course to either keep artificial flowers or you can use it in different ways which i'll show you once i make this craft item but yes i'm using a smaller pot here to as a reference you know to make this uh, jute macrame basket but yes you can make it for a bigger sized pot as well now pull the burlap cloth fit enough and stick it not to the pot but just you know as a reference the pot is just a reference do not stick the burlap cloth to the pot so you got to be careful about it and just follow the procedure the method that i'm showing you and you can create a very beautiful amazingly interesting macrame basket which are very expensive that you would find in the market but it is very simple and easy to make if you are you just have to have this burlap cloth and macrame ropes again here you can make it very colorful by painting this later the burlap cloth can be painted or even the 
a macrame rope you can take a colorful rope but here since i'm not adding too many colors here i'm keeping it in the neutral shades in a spiral shape keep sticking the macrame rope on the burlap cloth without you should make sure this entire thing should not go on the pot so you're not supposed to stick anything on the pot and uh, you know let's quickly do this once you complete the base of it please check if it is stable otherwise whatever modification you will have to do it then itself otherwise you won't be able to do it later so once you reach to the neck of the pot you will have to stop adding the uh, you know macrame rope just like this that i'm showing and then cut off the extra that you feel you do not need but yes don't cut it too short otherwise it will not look good make it just right for the size of the pot you know it depends on the size of the pot if your pot is big then you have to keep um, you know the burlap cloth a little more but since my pot is small i'm keeping it a little short so you got to fold it like this and your pot basket is all ready so you can keep live plant in this or you can keep an artificial plant in this in fact i've made for this particular plant pot of mine the artificial plant which i've bought from ikea which you must have seen in my ikea vlog you know haul video or you can also use it to keep these kind of pens pencils or any knickknacks next to your dressing table or your bedside table so this is how it looks I hope you people like this idea isn't it very cute This is the same burlap cloth that I'm using from you know the previous project where I had cut it I'm using this as a fridge magnet now how do I do it Basically first thing this burlap cloth is very soft and it's very nice in texture it's not very hard it doesn't have any inner coating so that way it was easy for me to work on this so if you're buying a burlap cloth buy something like this which doesn't have any inner coating which would make your you know work very simple okay now to keep the threads from coming out from the sides i am covering the sides from uh, you know the fevicol i'm just folding the sides and on top i'm just adding i removed a few threads from on top and i add added a little bit of fevicol so that you know the threads don't come out and then from all the other three sides i'm going to stick this burlap cloth so that it looks like a sack gummy bag now fold it on top and give it a nice shape i've made two of these one a little longer and one width wise and now i've made a coat here don't waste foot now coat you can make anything in fact i found this uh, idea on pinterest where actually you know they had hung all this one below another one you know and it was looking so cute it can act as a very good uh, kitchen decor i am using this as a fridge magnet but if you do not want to use this as a fridge magnet you can actually use this to hang one over another and make beautiful coats with different grains you can actually make this now okay in the meanwhile i have stuffed everything with cotton and on top i've made a little extra so so that i can stick all these grains now you can use any grains of your choice but here i'm using green gram and uh, the masoor dal but you might think that these are real grains that might get spoiled over a period of time but if you apply varnish after it completely dries then of course it would not get spoiled and this is how beautiful it looks i hope you people have liked all the craft items that i created today please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your loved ones see you all soon in my next bye bye